Do you guys know I can't do two things at once? You're going to hear about it, but big waves out there. So good evening, good evening, good evening. Happy 2023. I cannot believe this is our first time getting together on this call this year. Like, I don't even understand how it's possible, but I guess it's only the eighth. But man, it seems like it's been longer than that. So interesting. Um, but so grateful for each and every one of you. I love this call because what we do on here is we look around and we see who is having the success that we want. Okay, so I might be a little selfish about it. And I look around and I go, huh, Paul is really doing some things in his business and I want to learn from him. So I'm going to give him a call and I'm going to say, hey, Paul, join me on here and spill the beans. Tell us all of your secrets. So tonight we're going to do something just like that, but a little bit even extra special because we have a special guest coming on here that is going to be like one of the things that she excels at as an outsider i'm not involved or connected with her business but i get to peek at it every once in a while through other people and just get to hear the news we get on the call once a week and kind of hear what's going on and look at all the flyers and this is someone that has been so consistent with her business for a long time like for as long as i can remember she's if i want to know like somebody that's just always on task. If I kind of want to get a good to-do list from somebody, I'm going to pick up the phone and I'm going to call Ashley Paulson because she's just going to have it. Um, I've actually called her for a very specific to-do list before because I knew she'd have one and she did. So I'm really excited to bring her on here. Before I do, I'm going to share my screen for just a quick second so you guys can see a couple of the things that we've got coming on this week. So first of all, Monday night, we've got our corporate live. Um, so same time, same place as normal. So jump on there, but we've got Dina Brownlow that's going to be on there. So that should be phenomenal. And then on Wednesday, we have our shop live and, you know, I'm not super familiar with Barbara, but I was told that she is the European expert. So she knows about, you know, all of our products and everything that we need in order to use them appropriately to get the results that we want in our bodies and in our health. So that is going to be Wednesday. Cannot wait for that. And then we have a new one or another live. Let me see if I can grab it uh, right here. And who is planning vacations for this year? Like who's looking at their calendar and figuring out where in the world did they want to go? Well, I know that's one thing that I like to do kind of last week is really I dream build and map out the year. And this is an event that I want on my calendar. So if you want to be in Puerto Vallarta, then you want to be on this Facebook Live. It's going to be in the leadership group. So I'm trying to get the name of it. Okay, well, I don't know. So maybe it might be New Age Leadership Group. So go ahead and jump in there and you can check it out, watch and see what the requirements are and how we can all earn a trip to Puerto Vallarta. But with that, I want to pull on Miss Ashley Paulson. And Ashley, if you wouldn't mind jumping on here with me. I'm here. I'm going to spotlight you. So I'm sure that you know how to make your face small if you don't want to be spotlighted. <laughs> you always see people's face where they're like, oh, <laughs> I don't want to stare at me, but I want to stare at you and I want everybody to be able to focus in on you. So thank you so much for being on here tonight. Yes, absolutely. Super excited <laughs> to be here. <laughs> Sorry, didn't so, know if we were like going back and forth there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did. I gave you a weird pause, but that's just how I talk. So there you go. I'm going to share a flyer real quick. And I want to do, if you wouldn't mind, kind of walk us through. Well, actually, I'm I'm changing my mind. Before I share the flyer, is it okay if you walk us through what Ashley Paulson does in order to be successful? Because this is something that I've watched you do for years now. Um, I remember when you kind of announced it from stage and Destin that you were going to be creating something. You'd already started but then you really kicked it into high gear and have been working so consistently. So if I'm brand new, or maybe I've been here for 47 years, and I want to know what to do daily in my business, like will you talk to us about your income producing activities? I sure will. First off, I want to say a huge congrats to everyone on here. We have over 100 people on here on a Sunday night, rocking this first Sunday of the year. So super excited to be here with you guys. Um, 
What I first kind of want to start out with is kind of why I got a mind shift change to start doing this. So I, a little bit of background about myself, but obviously where I got to this point of doing the daily consistent action, right? Doing the income producing activities. So I was an employee for corporate America for about 14 and a half years. And I did a lot of stuff there. I was the office manager. I was, I did accounts payable. When I was the office manager, we had over a thousand people, right? I was in charge of a thousand people from catering to phones. I was busy. I managed the front desk. I, I managed the admin team. I was very, very busy. And so I got to a point where my schedule just controlled me, right? Whether, whether your calendar is busy like that and you have a lot of stuff going on, I got in this very fast paced business mentality, but my calendar told me what to do and when to do it. Right. And so when I came here and I, I started doing this full time in this industry, it's a lot different when you have to employ yourself and you don't have that calendar tell you what to do and when to do it. Right. So I got myself in that rut and I was like, Oh, awesome. Like I'll just you know, plug into this Zoom and go do this and help this person. But I, I got to a point where I had to have the consistency, but I'm a person that has to have some type of schedule. So about a year ago, uh, I, I signed up for an accelerator program and I had learned from someone in the industry who said to take 15 minute blocks and find them throughout your day where they work where they work for you, right? My schedule is different than Diane's. It's different than Arlene's. It's different than Melinda's. It's different than Kathy's, right? Our schedules and our lives are so different, but what we all have is pockets of time. And you have pockets when you actually step back and start looking at your schedule and start implementing and being intentional with it, right? So, I, okay, that's fine. I was going to share my other one that I made today um, with my, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're cute. It's the same exact thing though. So like Andrea said, I, I talked about this in Destin and I think it was about a year ago and that same exact thing I actually had up on the, the presentation slide. And ironically enough for anyone that was there, it took out all those little blocks. So all I really had was a blank screen. Um, but I'm going to share it with you because I, I actually edited it a little bit so I can send this to you guys. I'll put it actually in the comments of this recording and renew you. But what I found was taking those 15 minute blocks of time and scheduling them for myself. Okay, so I was kind of being selfish at the time because I needed to have that scheduling, that calendar reminder of, hey, I have 15 minutes. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do some follow ups, you know, the income producing activities. So it's one thing to get on a training or a call or a Zoom or an accelerator program where I got this. It's one thing to learn something and get value, but it's different when you turn around and implement it, right? We can get tons of stuff from the chalk talk and even from tonight, even like you implement it in a way that works best for you. Put it into a routine, part of your routine that works best for you. Um, and so that's really what I simply started doing with this accelerator program is I, I flipped it around and I started doing it with myself. But then I'm like, I'm not that like, it's silly if I don't want to see if our team wants to do this because, right, they're business owners, they have kids that's, you know, full time jobs, whatever. And so I turned around and I started doing these income producing activity calls with 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 my team. And so we did them twice. We're still doing them twice a day for about a year now. Uh, one of them's, you know, in the morning, one of them's in the afternoon. If the team can plug into it, great. If they can't, that's fine too. It's just an, an option for people to go to and it's a working Zoom. So Catalyst Club came and I was talking to Dr. Crystal and we started talking about some different stuff and she goes, you're still doing those Zooms, right? And I said, yeah. And she goes, I said, how do you feel if we opened it up to all of our team? Like people cross line up from me in Dr. Crystal's organization. And she's like, I think that's a fabulous idea. And so that's what we started doing twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, right? So 15 minutes twice a day is only 30 minutes a day. <laughs> okay. Everyone with me here? Um, and that's what we simply started doing. And so I'm going to show you two different things. I'm going to show you kind of the same thing that Andrea just did with the income producing activities. And then I also am going to show you something that we're doing with our team 
that I'll go ahead and post in the comments and renew you of this recording. And you can implement it where it works for you, okay? So doing the income producing activities that produce the results. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen if it'll let me. I'm not at my home setup, so I'm like, hopefully this will. <laughs> okay, can you see that? 15 minute blocks, Andrea? I can't see you. Yes, I, yes, I, yes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Sorry, I can't see anyone right now, so that's even more awkward. So what I did was I created this 15 minute block. So this was a block, this is a block, right? All of these are 15 minute blocks. And what you can do is every single week, print this off or edit it on your phone, uh, that you're doing the 15 minute blocks when you have time, whether that's a lunch break, whether that's right after dinner, right before you sit down to watch a show, whatever it is, but taking the intentional time to build your business. You being on the call right now is not building your business. Is it important? Absolutely. Is it great for your energy and to stay plugged in and know what's going on? Absolutely. But that's not going to grow your paycheck on Friday. If you take the stuff and you start implementing it, it will. But there's a difference between plugging in and actually doing the income producing activities. So what are some income producing activities? So continuing conversations, right? A lot of you know, I'm, I love social media. I post on there a lot. But continuing conversations is some place where conversations kind of slip through cracks, right? We have the transformation throwdown going down if right now. So if you have talked to someone, right, continuing that conversation to get them to from this point to the next step, right? Whether that's making a decision to purchase, whether that's getting them on a call or a Zoom, whatever that is, what are you continuing the conversation to take that person farther along to the next step to make a, make a decision, right? What's another income producing activity? Making a five day trial post. And I'm not gonna go into the five day trial post. If you go to the boards, um, there's a, a five day trial post example in there. You can copy that, you can tweak it and make it your own. But doing a five day trial post, sh sharing your results, right? Holding up a little stick of renew, sharing your results, because you can get people to comment and interact, pull that aside to a private message, and then start working them through the funnel, start working them through the pipeline, right? So doing a five-day trial post, or if a person's done a trial, moving them to a 28-day challenge, right? Are you interested in, in trying a, a month supply, a 28-day challenge with us? Along with that, depending on how your conversation's gone, maybe it's, do you want to earn some extra income while you're doing this challenge and you can share the trials with others? Right. So that could be an income producing activity is working that person from a five day trial once their five days is up using the follow up system. Right. We don't have people on five day trials just to have them on a five day trial. The purpose is to move them along to second base to a 28 day challenge. Or inviting a person to a three way call, taking those 15 minutes, inviting them to a three way call to get their questions answered. Kathy Roberts, huge kudos to her. She reached out to me last night. She's like, you know, sometimes we get someone who responds and we get kind of excited and we're like, oh, what do we do? What do we plug them into? What happens? Right. And sometimes we overcomplicate it in our minds and that's fine. But keep it simple and invite them to a three way call to get that third party validation from someone else. Let someone else do the talking for you. Right. Inviting them to a one on one, inviting them to a coffee shop, inviting them over to your house. You go to their house, you go to lunch. Right. Taking that 15 minutes to try to see if you can get them to have coffee tomorrow with you or get them to have lunch with you tomorrow. Um, inviting to your own Zoom, right? We have a presentation, a slide deck with slides. And, you know, if you're not comfortable doing it, maybe ask your upline or, you know, maybe someone that's cross line of you to host your own Zoom. Maybe schedule a launch party for your new person. Um, inviting to a party, so an at home party, right? In that boards, there's a, a little document that I created in there about how to host your own party, right? Keep it simple. Or taking those 15 minutes to uh, invite them to the Tuesday night testimonial call or the Thursday night opportunity call, right? So, and then I have there just a cute little quote because you guys know I love those. It says, consistency is more important than perfection. And I think that's with the 15 minute blocks, it's, it's, 
keeping your your blinders on right we hear that all the time it's keeping your blinders on but it's it's what are you doing within those 15 minutes to help move that person just continuing that conversation seeing where they're at seeing what their product needs are seeing what their financial needs are right continuing those conversations but moving them along from over here to point a to point b maybe you have point c and point d still to go but that's what those 15 minute blocks are is to be intentional with your time so with that being said i oops sorry <laughs> with that being said when we when like i i'll backtrack a little bit when i went back with dr crystal and we were talking about the catalyst club right put a put raise your hand thank you to all these people who have your cameras on i'm one that doesn't always because most times you don't want it but raise your hand if you are working towards catalyst club both hands <laughs> move them around like you just don't no i'm just joking um <laughs> i see you will garson see we have to have fun on here sometimes i'm way cooler with brent with the with the waves um just joking brent i love you um so with the 15 minutes i was talking to crystal and i said with the catalyst club i said what if we did some type of point system that we could have these income producing activities but our team could earn points if you have a team of two you can do this if it's you you can do this with yourself gather a few people that you know in this business lock arms and do it you don't have to do the point system. If you just want to stay with the 15 minute blocks and start implementing that, then do that. Okay. So we just decided to throw a little spin in there and kind of spice it up a little bit for the Catalyst Club. So what we did is we created a point system for the income producing activities. And so I'm going to go ahead and actually share that image as well and go into it a little bit. It's pretty similar to the income producing activities with the blocks that I just showed, but we did a point system. And then every week, whoever has the most points wins the prize, okay? The prize can be anything. It doesn't have to be something fancy and expensive or do a book or a cute little 2023 inspirational notebook or something, right? Or just keep track of the points to hold yourself accountable, right? That's really simply why I started doing these was to keep Ashley Paulson's feet to the fire. Okay, so the point system is this. Hopefully this will work. <laughs> so we did a daily roll call. And what we did was we gave points for income producing activities. So like I said, we do our income producing activities, which I call them IPAs. Uh, Todd Rowland and Ken Bailey, we were joking about it the other day. Ken Bailey said IPA and Todd's like, you don't even drink. And I was like, IPA doesn't have to mean a beer, right? Income producing activities, but it just shortens it. So if you hear IPA, that means income producing activities, okay? So with the daily roll call, what we did was helping each other, but helping ourselves be accountable. So with the 15 minute income producing activity Zooms, the IPAs, you earn five points, okay? So I... The end of this year, I messaged Crystal and I messaged Brent and I said, we have one month left of Catalyst Club. I want to open this up to everyone. I don't, whoever wants to hop on and join us, hop on and join us. And it's here at the top of the flyer, but there's also another flyer as well that uh, Miss Andrea can hopefully share. But we get five points for being on an IPA Zoom, for taking those 15 minutes you get five points, right? So the Zoom that's for everyone that you guys can pop on. Sorry, I'm mountain time, so I put everything in mountain, but it's at 1230 mountain, 130 central time zone, okay? So this was just the fun point thing. Like I said, you don't have to do this or you can if you want. Um, that was five points. And then going to share the product, right? So for two points, you get for every customer you share a smart link with and they get enrolled, you get two points for that day. Or if you're selling a five day trial, you get two points for that day. Or on Tuesdays, right? Remember I mentioned the Tuesday night testimonial Zoom. You get two points for plugging someone into the Tuesday night testimonial Zoom 
because they're talking about the product. They're talking about results. They're talking about testimonies, right? You're sharing more about the product of Renew, not necessarily the business side. Okay, so that's sharing the product, getting two points each for whatever you do for that day. Sharing the opportunity. Okay, you flip it a little bit. Are you sharing the business side of it? I always, when I'm sharing with people, I always share both sides of what we have. You never truly know what people are looking for. Even if they say they're not interested in income, I've never met a person that's allergic to money. <laughs> okay, you don't know what a person's, what they're looking for truly. So I always talk about both. Um, getting a guest on the Thursday night opportunity Zoom with uh, Brent and Tracy, right? You get two points for that, but what's that doing? Every single person that does a five-day trial, I always try to funnel them to that Thursday night opportunity Zoom. Why? Because they've tried the product. They've more than likely seen the results. They're more than likely interested or asking you of how to get a box or how to get more. Hey, tune into this Thursday night call. You know, it's only 30 minutes. I just want you to hear this out and check it out. They're going to learn how they can flip that into income by sharing the trials with others, just like you did with them. Okay, so sharing the opportunity, plugging them to that Thursday night call or simply getting them on a three way call. Typically, a three way call is nice because that person on the other end of the phone with you has no ties to them. They can maybe ask those uncomfortable questions. Hey, Sarah, are you know, talk about renew a little bit. Are you interested in earning extra income? I know the economy and I know stuff's expensive right now. Right. It's not uncomfortable for me to ask that to someone. I have no idea who they are but it might be for you with your own guests. Okay, so that's why a three-way call is so important because you're sharing the opportunity side of it. They can earn extra income, but they don't know that unless you're talking to them about that. Or you send anyone, a person with a smart link to enroll. So in a smart link with the activate pack, right? Or the, the business pack. So you get two points for that. And then attending events, you know, you get one point for those because they're still super important. In-person parties, one-on-ones, hosting your own Zoom party, okay? So those are all attending events, which are still income-producing activities. But then we flip a little bit to some of our calls that we have going on. Attending Chalk Talk. Why do I have this on here? Every single Tuesday, Brent Palmer, especially during Catalyst Club, has been so consistent with sharing every single Tuesday of how to help our business grow so we can be a part of the Catalyst Club. So you get a point for attending Chalk Talk. If you have a team call, right? We have a team call every Monday night, right before the corporate call. So every person on our team that plugs into that gets a point. Monday night corporate call, why? Because you're hearing from corporates. You're hearing about all the updates. You're hearing about that Mexico trip that Andrea kind of just rubbed, like put a little spur in my butt for. Um, so Monday night corporate live, because you're you're emerging yourself in our community of people, but you're keeping in contact with all the updates from corporate, which is super, super important. And then Saturday training this Saturday, obviously, we had Cameron Baugh on there. He talked a lot about where the company is at, where we're headed um, and that kind of thing. So really just soup. And then obviously this call, right? We should probably put that on number eight. <laughs> Sorry, Andrea, I love you. <laughs> Um, but this was simply just a daily roll call system of points that's fun that we can do with our team, right? Make it fun. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you have one, two, five, or a hundred of you. Just get outside, think outside the box sometimes. And I think that's with, you know, sometimes we just kind of get in our own heads, but then it's also like, are we really having the fun, right? We heard Cam on, on Saturday and he's like, talked about getting back to the fun part of this business and the community and the culture and getting together and having those fun moments. But when it you have that, it's great. But you also have to think of on the other side of that coin, on the other side of that, are you doing the activities that produce you results that help you that help your paycheck that help your team that help that next newest person get on a product that help that next newest person put 50 extra dollars in their bank account next friday right and so that's what's important is you actually doing the activities that produce the results 
connecting those dots to get your prospect from this point down to this point farther down the funnel, farther down the pipeline. So um, that's really what we've been implementing, just those 15 minute pockets. And I did, do you have that flyer, Andrea? That's one thing. Of course you do, I love you. <laughs> um, so she'll put this flyer up and this is basically, if you can take a screenshot of this every single weekday, Monday to Friday, Okay, I did put central time zone on here for all you people kind of, I know Andrea, you're welcome. Um, but this is a 15 minute working session that you can plug into Monday through Friday, same place, same time. This is my Zoom room, I'll be here. Okay, what so do we Ashley, do? Yeah. Real quick, I'm so yeah. sorry. No, you're good. Right. Jumped in there. So tell us, so 15 minutes, we're going to get on there and you're going to tell us exactly what to do. Like, or... I'm going to tell you right now, but I'll tell you. <laughs> how does it work? Tell us how it works. I will tell you how it works. So that, okay. So with the 15 minute working session, so what we do, and once we kind of get in the groove, I don't really have to explain it for people who have been on there, right? If you've been on there with us, uh, those first few times were kind of awkward because it really truly is a working Zoom. Okay. So we all get on there, 1230 Mountain Time. We pop on here. If there's new people, we talk about what are the income producing activities? What is this call? Most times I just share my screen and I have that list up there. But what we do is it truly is a working Zoom. So Hill Blue or Ann Wilson or April, when you guys come in there, we all get together on a Zoom. I'll explain it a little bit. If you're not new, I don't really explain it. But what we do is I just share my screen. I have a little countdown timer. I hit start. I mute everyone and we work for 15 minutes. That's it. And working is working on the income producing activities that's gonna help grow your business next Friday. That's it, right? And when you first come on there, people are like, why, why isn't anyone talking? What are we doing? I, I can't hear no sound, right? It truly is a working Zoom. You just go on here and it really just helps you hold your feet to the fire. Having those, continuing those conversations, inviting to that Tuesday or Thursday night Zoom. Start having a weekly party at your home or in your in your hometown weekly or bi-weekly, right? Um, especially with everything that we have going on right now with the Catalyst Club, it truly is and find the things and I just want to say this real quick I just I'm a competitive person but I compete with myself I don't compete with anyone else I compete with myself so I just saw Crystal she said Ashley is new to VIP2 I am I hit it yesterday okay but it took the income producing and it took the income producing activities consistently I've been doing them consistently. I'm plugging into my Zooms. I'm helping my team. I'm doing the stuff. I'm enrolling people. I'm putting, putting it in front of people. But find the ways that you can compete with yourself. Okay? It's so easy to compare and compete with someone else. But truly, when you dig in and find how you can compete to yourself. Okay? So how did Ashley Paulson hit VIP1? We were back in November on a chalk talk and Brent Palmer said, who's a VIP one? Put it in the chats. Put a one in the chats if you're a VIP one. This is what Brent Palmer says. I'm like, hmm, I ain't putting a one in there yet because I'm not one. I'm not a VIP one yet. But you know what I was by that next week? I was a VIP one and I was sure as heck putting a number one in the comments, right? He added fuel to my fire because I couldn't put that one in there. Like I compete with myself, okay? Saturday, yesterday, raise your hand if you're on the Saturday morning training call with Cameron Bott, Crystal, right? All of us were on there. We were talking about the Catalyst Club and they're like, VIP two, put a, put a two in the comments if you're a VIP two. And I'm like, hmm, <laughs> right? I'm like, oh, I'm so close. I only need one more. So I competed with myself and I got one more yesterday. So I got a VIP too. Okay. Sometimes you just need that little kick in the butt. Like I, and maybe it is, maybe it isn't for you. Just not putting a one and not putting a two in there, but 
right? You have to put a one in there. Like how, what taking those income producing activities and hopping on these Zooms this week, please hop on there. There's 107 people on this call. Please hop on there sometime this week when you can. Get on there, do 15 minutes, put in some income producing activities. Who's a VIP three in the room? I see you, Dr. Crystal, in the comments. <laughs> you little turd, but um, I'm getting there. I, I'll be there. I'll be there. Um, but it really truly is like just taking that first step, okay? And VIP three, like it starts at one. You have to go get those three people. And I think a lot of times in our head, no matter how long you've been in this industry, like me, I'm like, I want nine people or three people that are business minded that I can go and start duplicating and running this business with. If I get some customers in there, great. If I get some people on the products, great. But Catalyst Club to Ashley Paulson means relaunching her business. Okay. I want to find a Linda Ross that I can start duplicating. I want to find a Daryl Peterson that I can start duplicating. Okay. You're sorting through to find the gold, but you find the gold with doing the income producing activities to put the people in to produce the results, right? To get to the outcome. And so just finding those three, and like I said, you're going to find what you're going to find, but you're only going to find it if you start doing the work. And the work starts in the 15 minute income producing activity calls. Whether you're online with us and you can join us Monday through Friday on that Zoom, or you just print off that weekly 40 and you just start doing it yourself. Go to Google, type in countdown timer, because that's where I found mine. Plug it on on your computer, go on your phone and start doing your income producing activities. That's all we do on the call. Do I want you to join us? Absolutely, because we're always stronger together. I want all, well, now we're down to 105. Whoever two dropped off, I scared them off. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Told them I wanted them on my call. Um, but I do, I want all of us on here because we truly all win together. It doesn't matter whose team you're on. It doesn't matter whose upline you have. It doesn't, it comes down to what you want your business to look like. How many more people you have to help? How much more unfinished business you have? right? So find what pushes you, take what you can from this call, plug into those 15 minute IPA Zooms with us, put a reminder in your phone, right? I do this full time, but my calendar looks just like I, I did when I had that full time job of 14 years. Every single Zoom that we have is in my phone, including my three income producing activity calls a day. My phone goes off and I'm like, if I'm busy or I'm doing something or I just can't hop on, that's fine. But at least I got the reminder. So this IPA Zoom every weekday until the end of this month, put it in your phone as a reminder. If you're free, hop on with us. Do your 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes is up, I'm like, have a great day. Bye. We get off, right? See you tomorrow. Like we're not on there for two hours. We get on there, we work, bye, <laughs> okay? So I want you to join us, but it it's just coming down to really being intentional with it, but I want every single person, there's still 105 people on here, I love it. Um, every single person on here to become part of the Catalyst Club. It doesn't matter if it's just VIP one. And I say just, like that VIP one is an incredible, oops, there went my light. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm at my grandparents' house in South Dakota this weekend, so I'm a little like off on all my stuff. But VIP one is a huge accomplishment, right? Enrolling three people with 600 in volume within the first four weeks that they enrolled. VIP one, done. If it's some brand partners, great. If it's some customers on product, great. You got yourself to VIP one right? VIP two is just double that, enrolling the six people, okay? So it starts with one though, one person, one reach out, one continued conversation, one person plugging into a, a Tuesday night call. That's where it starts. You have to start somewhere if you want to get to your goal. So VIP one, 
hopefully if you've ever been on a call and they're like, if you're a VIP one, put it in the chats. And if you're not, you don't, right? Does that add fuel to your fire? And it's not a pro or a con. It just really is a reality of it. And I'm very like, and I think that's something too. I'm a very like realist. Uh, there's not really a lot of gray there. I'm kind of black and white like Dr. Crystal. Maybe that's why we get along so well. <laughs> but I mean, it comes down to business. And so that's really just what we're doing. I totally welcome all of you to hop on that call this week and until the end of January. Hopefully, once you get in the habit of doing it, you continue to do it after January, right? Catalyst Club doesn't stop after, like it stops after January for us existing people, but like this is a one time to be a part of something with this new company as we launch. Do you want your name etched in stone as a VIP? As we launch, that's it. That, that's your question tonight. If you do, you'll be on the income producing activity calls with us or you'll start doing the 15 minute blocks. So I wanna, do you have anything else for me, Andrea? You know me, no, I love quotes that... just like you do. <laughs> what? I said, you know me, I, I love quotes just like you do. So I found one today. Well, well, when you're pulling that up, I'm just gonna ask or answer a couple of questions that were in the chat that I think I can answer for you. So one, they're asking if that time period is when they should have people to do three-way calls. And you might, but not with Ashley, like you're going to be muted and you might call somebody that's not on the income producing call and have them be your three-way person, but on the call, it's going to be silent. So there's no questions or any of that. Like you are sitting there like, this is what I picture. I haven't been on yet, but this is what I picture you're going to see. Top of everybody's head when they're looking at their phones, doing their work. So um, I just think I am like smitten, so in love with this. I'm so grateful for you guys, for you, you sharing this with all of us, because we could all jump on there and, you know, block up your whole line and, you know, fill up all your space and you're just doing it out of the goodness of your heart. So I greatly appreciate it. And I'll tell you, I've used your 15 minute, well, I had the old one, so excited for the new one, but I have used that for over a year and I am obsessed with the 15 minute blocks because we all get, well, I don't know about all of us. I can get where I think I have to sit down and work for like eight weeks and then I can go eat something, right? Like I, I, it's hard when you work for yourself to find the natural breaks in your day. So you're either going to work all the time or you're going to kind of work none of the time. Like life's going to get in the way or you're not going to have a life. And I love that this kind of pulls it back in the middle where you can say, okay, I have this many squares that I'm going to mark off today. And this is what I'm going to get done. And then when you're done, you can actually be done. Like it's kind of an interesting, really enjoy this concept. So thank you for that. Please share your quote. I'll shush. <laughs> I love it. It's short, but I saw it today and I was like, this is perfect. It says success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will come. Right. It's so it's so powerful and it's so simple and it's so true. But success looks different for all of us. Right. Success looks different for all of us. But I really, truly hope tonight that you, at the end of this month, are a part of our Catalyst Club in whatever VIP level that you land. But are you soaring and are you doing the work to get you there? Right? So yes, on the income producing activity call, that's not where you do the three-way calls. That's more so where you invite, right? So you're inviting to that next step. Um, but I really hope, truly hope you guys join us. And like I said, I'll put those flyers in the comments um, of this training and renew you so you guys can have it and we'll see you guys all tomorrow on the 15 minute income producing activity call at 1230 mountain 130 central cannot wait i'll be driving but i'll work and drive and i'll do it all at the same time very carefully um but thank you so much you just brought so much value to every single human being that was on here forever grateful for this time. Thank you so much, lady. Appreciate you. And congratulations on VIP too. I know you're going to sit there for like half a minute 
And I am going to ask the question and you're going to be put in the three, like you're going to go dee, 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 all the way through the chat. So cannot wait. So love you guys so much. Thank you for spending your Sunday evening with us tonight. We can't wait to see you all week on the Coach's Corner and the income producing call. So we'll see you twice tomorrow. Cannot wait. Y'all have a great day. Thank you, lady. Thank you. 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 Thank you.